Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about C Sharp .NET programming series. Okay, this is the tutorial number five. How we can create a real date and time clock. Okay, now let's start. First, open Visual Studio. Okay, I already open. Okay, create a simple project. Okay, now you see. What do you do? First, uh, let me check. Uh, first, you take a text, text box. Okay. Now click to this one. Go to property. Come to font. Let's change the font. I'm here uh, 24. Okay. Yes. Now uh, let's I'm here a label. Now what we do? Okay. Now I copy this one. Click to the, uh, click to label, and uh, let's search the text. Okay. This is text. Now I'm copy. Um, paste here now you see click to this one let's change the font okay click to this one let's I'm anti uh, here uh, 20 okay a real day time clock yes now let's uh, modify now what we do uh, a search a uh, timer okay why I'm take a timer because help of timer one second we automatic update the real clock okay now what we do let's I'm um, take the manually now let's uh, create a button for uh, manually operation okay after that we come on the auto now click to button uh, let's uh, change the text uh, okay okay now text I'm anti-air show time show time okay now let's uh, change the tag name uh, now you see the name this is the tag name Let, uh, let's um, change this one I meant here uh, timer button okay timer button done now click to this one let's change the uh, text let's change the font now and enter here uh, for 16 okay everything is done now click to start and see see this is your form look like this okay and uh, let's click to this one yes yes now save your project and uh, start to do programming double click to the show time double click to show time okay this is timer when you click to button that time uh, date and time visible to your text book okay now you see the tag name is text box 3 okay now let's change uh, the tag name or we can say name uh, I meant here uh, text timer okay this is text timer please remember okay now click to show time uh, you need to enter a uh, logic in this in between this function okay uh, let's start first what we do uh, we need to enter text text timer okay you need to choose this one dot okay now click to text this is the property of text uh, why I'm take a text because we need to read uh, date and time in a uh, text form okay now that's why timer dot text equal to uh, right now you need to enter data which you want to show in this timer okay now what do we do enter date time you see date and time dot now okay and uh, the date and time uh, pick to your laptop date okay now click to now dot and you need to uh, click to, to string okay brackets okay now see what you do let's uh, click to start and you see what's output okay when you click to show time and you see 9 29 okay you see 9 months 29 is today date and 2021 okay and time is this one 5 45 and this is second and this is pm and am okay everything is defined as your laptop date and time okay this is the real time and click to this one and you see the second is changed 45 46 47 okay let's change the format now what you do 
but right now i need only hours minute and second now what we do let's uh, start to uh, brackets okay now let's start uh, right now uh, enter h and you see they have a uh, lots of format h 12 hours clock okay 24 hours 12 hours 24 hours right now what to do let's i'm check uh, check the 24 hours okay this one right now you need to enter minute m and you see there have a lots of thing minute two digits m m month right now a small m means minute and capital m means month right now i need a minute now click to this one again we need to second and you see seconds okay two digit click to this one okay done let's click to start okay when i click to show time and you see right now only show hours 17 okay and 46 is your minute and 40 is second okay everything is done now let's do to change in auto auto condition okay uh, what we do let's i'm and here a uh, timer okay timer click and drag to your screen like this and you see timer uh, visible here what you do right click here and click to properties you see right now you need to enable this one click to true yes and this is an interval how many uh, milliseconds you need to uh, update right now we need to update one second you need to enter 1000 1000 means one second okay this is the 1000 millisecond okay it means one second now and the tag name is you see tag name is timer one you can change here help with this one but right now i'm uh, not changed okay this is the timer one this is your tag name and what we do you need to double click timer like this this is the function of your timer we need to update to this function okay now what you do let's create a new function i meant here private private void right i'm going enter here uh uh for the timer okay this is my new function done now what you do let's uh, i'm copy this one and paste in pradeep timer okay right now uh, we not use uh, this uh, manual function okay timer button okay help of this timer tick we automatic generate or automatic update our time as our live data okay right now help of timer you need to call to your function this is your function pradeep timer you need to enter here like i'm answer pradeep timer you see you need to call to this function and this function is call after one second okay why one second because you already change the property here go to property and you enter 1000 mean one second after one second it's automatic go to pradeep timer in this function and this function is execute okay now what you do let's i'm uh, remove this format okay i need a uh, full format and click to start and you see automatic it's a bit without uh, click to show time you see 30 31 32 it's live data okay it's automatic update amazing okay now close and let's change the little uh, property let's change the property now what to do right now we need to disable the show time how you can do this and disable property we already done in previous lecture and uh, let's i'm um, click to this one okay you need to enter here a uh, timer uh, button okay timer button dot enabled equal to false like this okay when uh, let's uh, click to start and you see your show time is disabled auto update right now 41 42 43 seconds okay it's amazing you can apply the color property uh, in background of your uh, text okay and thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys